It's around 4 a.m. when the first Syrians start crossing the fence with Israel on the Golan Heights. They're bringing their children to seek medical treatment and cross in the cover of darkness. After six years of war, medical services on the other side of the border are decimated. With Israel and Syria long-term foes, their identities must be hidden to protect them from reprisals when they return home. Israel has treated more than 3,000 Syrians since the beginning of the war. But over the past year, it's also started treating Syrians with more routine ailments, anything from asthma to diabetes to more serious diseases like cancer. One of these children has a rash. Another has a squint her mother hopes to get fixed. <coughs> Israel stresses the humanitarian nature of this Good Neighbours project, but there are other factors at play. It's working hard to carve out a buffer zone of friendly forces and communities on its border. It's watched warily as its arch enemy Hezbollah, the Lebanese militant group fighting for President Bashar al-Assad, has drawn closer. So as well as bringing out patients, it's also pumping in supplies to areas controlled by Sunni rebel groups fighting the regime. It's sending generators food, drugs and fuel as it tries to win hearts and minds and keep its enemies at bay. <laughs>